Welcome back to a brand new video, TVF Gaming jumping once again into some mod spotlights, this time for Ark Ascended. A lot of the mods that we loved back on Ark Survival Evolved have made their way over to Ark Ascended. We're excited to check those out. The first one we're going to check out is one of the essential mods that we have on almost every server that we played on Ark Survival Evolved and probably every server that we play on Ark Ascended, and that's Automated Ark by Blitzfire. Blitzfire has done a crazy good job with this mod. It was one of our favorites before. He's also got another mod called Utilities that's really good we'll talk about later on. This, though, is, is a definite go-to mod. This is going to take a lot of that storage and inventory management and take it out of the equation. So you don't have to spend all that time putting things in storage boxes. This is going to do all that for you. So let's take a quick second to check this out. The, the, we're going to go through all the little devices here. It's not going to be a super in-depth guide or anything like that, but I will show you how to use it just super quick so you can get an idea. But just a mod spotlight to kind of give you an idea of what some of the best mods for Ark Ascended are, and this is definitely number one on our list. So Automated Ark, this is the actual bench for it. This is where you make most of the stuff. Really cool model because it's got a little Automated Ark thing spinning around. Really like that. It's moving really slow now. All right, we've got that trash can just so you can delete things because there's a lot of things that you end up making that you don't want. You just want to, instead of dropping them on the floor, you put them in the in the little trash can. The reason why you can't drop it on the floor is because we have this thing called a vacuum. This thing's really cool. Basically, you're going to drop some things on the ground. Boom, 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 boom. There you go. Bunch of stuff on the ground. That vacuum is going to pick it up. So now you see it's inside of there. Boom. And then this console, this is the heart of the entire mod, the AA console. We'll pull all the stuff out of that vacuum or any structure in the area when you hit manual sort. It'll pull everything in here. Let's go ahead and get some of that back. We'll go a little bit of stone, a little bit of wood, a little bit of fiber just so we can do some sorting. There you go, a little bit of wood. All right, so this will sort it to the OCD storage or other things around here if you have it set up correctly. If you don't want it to pull from things, the easy thing to do is go over here and exclude structures, and then you click structures that you don't want this to touch. So you do that, you click the little checkbox, hit confirm, Hit close menu, and now it won't pull from whatever that device is that we just checked. So let's go ahead and move on to the next stuff. So that's the main stuff. That's the main one. The automated arc bench, the console, and then the actual vacuum. Those are the kind of the first big three things. The vacuum is a little bit later in the Ingram list. It's a little bit harder to make. The next thing you need is the OCD vaults is where all your storage actually happens. There's three versions. You've got the wooden one, the marble one, and the metal one. The driftwood. This, basically, you put these inside of here, and this I think they all work the exact same way in this version. Yeah, they do. So they all have an OCD menu. I'll show you that real quick. So we put the supplies that we want inside this box. We click Show OCD Menu, and you check which ones you want to be to remain in this box. So let's put something else over there. Confirm, close. So we'll put that, and we'll do Show OCD Menu again. So you can see Tinto Berry got thrown in there on accident, but we're not going to keep it in there, so we just don't put the check mark. Then when we come back over here to the console and we click manual sort, it's going to pull all those items out of there that we put over there. So all of that thatch, well, not all of it because we're going to have a stack issue. Now, if you're playing on a server that has like stack mods and stuff like this, or if you have the INI, then this won't be an issue. Obviously, we need a few more OCD storages to do this, or we just need to separate them out. The nice thing, too, is you can actually label them. Hold E, go down here, rename, blah, 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 hit that, and then you go like this and... Where's the use custom name? Boom. There you go. And there's a little custom name we gave for it. So that's kind of how that works. Basically, it'll continue to pull things from there to there. And then when you get a little bit further down to this one, this has a thousand slots. So definitely a little bit better. So if we go like this, show OCD, we're going to clear, all, deselect all, confirm, close. It pulls all that out of there. Let's go ahead and grab a little bit of wood, metal, stone, just a little bit of everything. Put that down here and it'll actually do a little bit better job because there's more room in this one show ocd select all confirm close now when we go sort it'll sort all that stuff down there oh no no not not that not that close close manual sort boom there you go so that's kind of how that works moving on so that's kind of like the basis of it you've got your console you've got your vacuum and you've got the storage that's the big things when you start getting further into it there's a whole bunch of other stuff you've got your actual refrigerator so you can put in your berries and stuff like that same thing it's got an OCD menu. Click that, and now all Mijo berries will be moved over there. So that's awesome. Next one is the dehydrator, so it makes an actual jerkies for you, so you can throw all the stuff in there, and it works. It works pretty well. So definitely, and I think it actually does work off electricity, which is nice. And there's a uh, generator going over there right now. Uh, over here is the Dino Leash. I haven't really messed with that one too yet. Uh, that one at all yet. We'll have to check that one out later on. This one is a wood pile. This one's really cool because it'll actually fill up all your regular vanilla standing torches. So we're going to go, let's go put a, grab a bunch of wood. So we'll grab a quick stack of wood. We'll move this down here. And it'll automatically move wood or spark powder 
over into over into those. So now if we click on here, you can see that it's already filling that up. Look at that, 33, 33. Oh, that's awesome. There you go. And it split it evenly amongst it, so it evenly distributes it, which is really cool. And that way your, your torches can always be running because it's going to stay full. So very, very cool. All right, so that's that. Next one up is the Mortar Pestle. This one does have a pool resource option. I haven't actually tested it out yet. Oh, it works. Wow. So kind of like the old S Plus on Arc Survival Evolved, you can actually pull it that way. You can also change the, the modifier. So can we really do that? It's like 12. So we'll pull 12 resources. Boom. And craft all. Oh, we don't have, we're missing flint. That's right, we don't have a lot of flint. But basically, it'll pull the resources for you. Very, very cool. Excellent device. That's the mortar pestle. And it'll craft more than one at a time, which is nice. The ref refrigerator trough, just like it sounds, it's a, a trough that's refrigerated. So all your spoiler timers will be pretty highly increased. So right now, it's at 640. Put it in there, and it's at 11 hours, 6 minutes. So definitely a big, big difference. Next one up is the compost bin. This automatically pulls thatch and feces and makes fertilizer. So it's gonna actually make the fertilizer and then it's gonna go to the fertilizer silo, which I don't think I have put out. You got the fertilizer, oh, this must be it. The fertilizer manager collects fertilizer from the AA compost and distributes it evenly to all crop plots. Now I didn't see if AA has crop plots, do they? I don't think AA added crop plots. I don't know if that's something they're gonna add in the future. There used to be AA crop plots. That might be something they add later on. Now move, moving on, we got a couple other things here. Oh, I, I can't access if I do that, okay. I just want to get rid of this notification real quick. Okay, moving on, the actual Ingram pod. This just allows you to save and restore your Ingram points. Next one up is the spoiling barrel. Obviously, you're going to put meat on there, and it's going to spoil it for you. Uh, next one up, dehydrator. We already talked about back there. Next few is the veggie crate, where you put your fruits and veggies. Does the I think berries will fit in there. Same thing, show OCD menu. You can put little check marks that will stay in there. Hit confirm, hit close, boom. All right. Next one up is the egg crate. If you have dinos in the area that lay eggs, it'll pick up eggs automatically for you. You can also tell it to enable fertilized pickup, so it'll pick up the fertilized eggs. So really good device. You're in the way, do it. And then we've got the ice block. Same thing. This is going to just be a little mini refrigerator. Much better for early game before you get into the electricity. Uh, jars and a block of ice. Store perishables in early game. There you go. So that moved it to four hours. So not quite as good as the other, other refrigerated ones, but still pretty good. Polymer transmuter, this is actually going to convert your polymer between hard and soft with the use of strong chemicals. So you can actually convert it between all those different types over there. Very cool. For later on, when we're playing Extinction. The industrial forge, just a smaller version of the forge. Uh, I don't know if you can set this one up to auto pull. We'll have to look that one up if it does auto pull. But that, one, that one's pretty awesome. It's just a smaller version of the forge. This is the ant hill. You inject bug repellent into the ant hill and it d drives out the inhabitants. And then you get a bunch of cool chitin out of that one. Over here, the generator. This one's just your, your typical wireless generator. We can pulse. Hold on. Where? Pulse generator range. You can see the generator range is pretty good, so it's wireless. Don't have to worry about any of that. Next one up is the grill. Same thing. Just throw a bunch of meat on there. It's going to cook it up for you pretty quickly. I think it cooks it in, like, stacks of 20 or something like that. I don't think I have any. You can tell it to automatically put stuff on there, but I don't have any meat on me right now, so we'll have to wait on that. Uh, next one up is a turret genie to manage all your turrets in the area. Next one is the grinder. This one works really well. Put it on here, click grind, and it's going to automatically move all that stuff over to your console or over to the OCD stores that it's supposed to go to. So really, really cool. And it's I I'm not sure if you can adjust how much you get back from it. That used to be an I&I &I option in the previous version. Next one up is the chemistry bench. This just like your regular chemistry bench, just the AA version. So it's got all the AA functionality to it. The industrial cooker, same thing. Got all the cooker stuff in here. So very cool. But there's so many more colors now. Very cool. I think we covered everything. The last thing that we didn't really talk about is the AA Smithy. This is the other device that's like a must-have within this mod. The AA Smithy has all Ingrams on it. So you don't have to go around to the different benches, especially later on when you get a bunch of different things. You don't have to go to all the different benches to be able to craft things. It's got almost everything in here. So very, very cool. It's got a few other things too. Actually, this one, oh, wow, it's got a lot of random things in here. Very cool. But you don't have to go around searching which bench you're supposed to be crafting on. This one does a lot of it for you. Very, very cool. Uh, does it do structures too? It does. Wow. So furniture, we've got pipes, metal, awesome. What else we got? Defenses, furniture, and there you go, actual regular foundations. 
So it's got pretty much everything, and you can craft it on here. It just makes it really nice. Kind of like the old S-plus crafting station, but a little bit better. This is definitely another one of the reasons why we always have this one, especially when you get into some big mods later that have several benches that you have to go to. The AA Smithicator just kind of, or the Smithy, just kind of makes that a little bit easier. But that's kind of it. Make sure you go check out Blitzfire's page over on CurseForge, over on Twitch. I really do appreciate the support, guys. Make sure you hit like on this video and check out more future videos for mods. If you got a mod that you want me to check out, or if you want a more in-depth guide for any one of these mods, put that down in the comments down below. I'd read all comments, try to reply to as many as I can, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much. Huge shout out to patrons. Huge shout out to Blitzfire. This mod's amazing. See you in the next one.